All right guys, so this is a quick video talking about my experience um, because you might want to watch out. Um, Verizon is selling internet that it's supposed to be Fios, but it's not. So I'm paying for that, the fifth internet 50, and it's a triple play. Um, it was like 100, I mean, excuse me, after everything, it's like 150 now because of the boxes and stuff. But yeah, they're marketing this as Fios, uh, but it's actually DSL. Um, I've never seen a video like this on the internet. I've always wanted to see a video like this on the internet. Um, but this, this is kind of fascinating and kind of blows my mind, but yeah. Um, so if you guys know Verizon's high speed internet is actual DSL, ADSL, you max speed is 15 meg per second. This is 50. Apparently what happened, and I spoke to everyone, my, my landlord, my, the tech, and apparently what happened is a lot of, I mean, here in Virginia, and a lot of the, um, a lot of the MDUs don't want to have the construction. They, they apparently they have to chip in half and half with Verizon to wire with BIOS. So, but my property manager said quarter one this year, 2019, Verizon will be trenching and installing the real deal. But I'm left with this, DS, I, DSL internet. It, this is great because I've never seen this before. But this is a <laughs> never do Verizon even did via DSL, Zizo. Uh, for port modem, it's got the console port there, power jack for ethernet, and one phone port. There is a one jack there. Port one going into my quantum router. Of course, the Xbox experience is really good. NAT is open as always. Um, that It's honestly not a bad router. The, the NAT it just opens for perfectly on the Xbox. I've got a phone jack coming into the unit. Um, it's got the DSL port um, filter built in they, they the tech came with that so it was kind of cool one jack going to the analog phone here the pots and the other one going straight into the uh, modem here so they put the the actual filter inside the jack that's awesome um despite being fake files um the speeds are really good 30 by 4 um i should be getting 50 and i think it's pretty consistent so i think it's um I think it's a provisioning issue. I have a tech coming up next week. I just got installed yesterday. But uh, the, the jitter is really low. And honestly, I'm, I'm willing to let it slide so I can at least play a decent Xbox Live experience. It's better than Comcast. And the real deal is coming in a couple of weeks. Uh, there's the ping. Um, not too bad. I know it's a little higher than usual, but then, uh, then, then, then maybe a little higher than cable, but it's fine. It's very low jitter, so. I'm very impressed. So I'm gonna have a good Halo experience. Um, I have a triple play. So this is the cable box, Cisco box with the hard drive built in. Even I don't have DVR service, they gave me two of these. Um, this particular unit, all the coax goes to here. This is the wall plate where the, all the coax goes to in the apartment, all of them go to here. So he put a splitter and everything down there. And downstairs, you, the tech will choose which line to choose. If he, if, if the, this unit's to be wired with Comcast or Verizon, I guess I can't have both for cable. Um, this still provides internet to the boxes. So there's a coax here going out to the plate down here. And I did verify, where is it, hang on, there it is. I did verify the boxes will not work if you don't have the quantum box plugged in, but um, what happens is they wire fiber to somewhere on the property and uh, because they don't want to wire it straight here, it's expensive and some property managers don't want to deal with it. So I guess somewhere on the property, the ONT is shared amongst a bunch of users and then there's coax going to all the boxes. I think these are certain, these are special boxes that work with this sort of network. Maybe that's it, I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, so that is the case. No complaints, honestly. The picture quality is still very sharp, despite being shared amongst a bunch of users. Um, very low compression, I guess. I just, I love the picture quality. Same, my dad has in Staten Island, so very similar experience in terms of picture quality. Uh, and yeah, I this is really rare. I mean, I, I just, would not think that Verizon would still be using DSO, but apparently it, it's a thing. And I'm gonna get switched in a couple of weeks to the real deal. 
there is an a fiber jack here that has uh, eight stalls and everything. There's the SC connector, but it's just a pull string in there. Um, <clears throat> it's not active because of that, but he said that, uh, well, the property manager said it'll be installed in a couple weeks, so I guess I'm just waiting on the trenching for this to be active. So I'm excited for that. Uh, <laughs> This is just interesting. This is just a little bit mine, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will give you an update as soon as I get the real deal.